I'll never forget the Indonesia tsunami in 2004 and Hurricane Katrina in 2005, which left many people displaced without drinkable water. In both catastrophes, people were unprepared, resulting in many of them being forced to drink contaminated water. If a catastrophe hit your area, would you be able to filter and make safe, drinkable water for you and your family? You can show your support by clicking the like button below, subscribing to our channel, visiting our website, or providing comments in the comment section below. In addition, during the video, I'll provide links to the products in the description section. Enjoy the video. In this video, we'll discuss the basics of water filtration and how to make the water safe to drink. Without boring you to tears, let me introduce you to a few units of measurements, which will be discussed several times in this video. We'll be talking about microns, which is about 0 0.000001 meters in length. And for all the Americans watching, it takes 25,400 microns to make an inch. To give you an idea of how small that is, a typical human hair is between 40 and 50 microns wide. The smallest bacteria is about 0.2 microns, whereas the smallest virus is about 0.004 microns. Now, most of the portable water filters on the market can filter down to very small sizes, and we'll discuss that along with more advanced forms of filtration and purification. I'll try and present a few affordable options that anyone serious about water filtration can afford along with the system we use at home. These filters we'll discuss are for fresh water and not for salt water. So let's talk about the first one, the Sawyer Mini. These can be used as gravity filtration, meaning you can hang it upside down and it will filter the water. They say they are 0.1 micron absolute. In other words, tested under absolute conditions. They're ready to filter 100,000 gallons, uh, they're a very reputable company with good reviews, and I'll provide a link in the description below if you want to find out more. And they only run for about $20, which is a pretty good deal. Now, they have no pre or post filtration or any carbon in them. Also, they don't handle filtering out herbicides or pesticides. Now, they'll filter out a lot of pathogens, bacteria, protozoas, cryptosporidium. It's also important to note they don't filter viruses. On their website, they say this, in North America, we do not have concerns about viruses in our water. They simply cannot survive. Viruses derive from contaminated human sewage to die shortly after entering a body of water. Third world countries' outbreaks have occurred due to poor treatment of sewage. That's what they say. If you are concerned about addressing the issue regarding viruses, apart from boiling the water, you'll need to consider chlorine or iodine. I carry these iodine tablets in our personal bug out bags. The second one is the Life Straw. These are rated to 0.2 microns. They're rated to filter 220 gallons. They work a lot like the Sawyer water filter. You just suck the water through. And the primary difference between this and the Sawyer Mini is the Life Straw has a pre-filtration filter on the end, as you can see here, and it's supposedly designed to help remove sediment from murky water. Now these personal filters, they will filter salmonella, E. coli, cholera, protozoa, giardia, but they won't deal with herbicides or pesticides and other chemicals that can easily contaminate your water supply. For many of us that live in an urban environment or even those that live in the countryside with farms in their area, the threat of water contamination can be very real from runoff. So what's the next step if you're looking for something that could easily handle a bit more when it comes to water filtration, especially uh, when it comes to dealing with contaminants, which we just discussed. This is where a Berkey water filter comes in. These powerful systems, they purify both tree water and untreated raw water from such sources as remote lakes, streams, and stagnant ponds. The black water filter option that you can purchase for these, they can filter down to 0.2 or 0.3 microns. They're very popular with those that work in remote areas of undeveloped countries where electricity, water pressure, or tree water may not be available. These systems, they're designed to remove pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, uh, and extract harmful chemicals such as herbicides, pesticides, VOCs, organic solvents, and just a bunch of other nasty stuff you don't want in your water. We personally went with this setup because I've read so many stories and testimonies online where people have lived and worked in hostile environments, including those serving in the military that have relied upon these to purify their drinking water, and they swear by these things. I think that was what sold me. Now, one of the other popular options, of course, is boiling water. If you don't have a water filter, there's always the option to boil water, but this doesn't address the issue of contaminants in your water. Obviously, it also uses fuel, which adds labor to the equation whenever you're having to prepare your water. Also, there's the option of bleach. Now, bleach is often cited when it comes to discussions regarding water purification. A few things, though, you need to know about bleach. Uh, bleach will deteriorate over time. It's not the best ideal to have in your storage and your preps, but if that's all you have, then obviously use it. Also, you might want to consider using calcium hypochlorite, or as it's commonly known, pool shock. Pool shock can do the same job as bleach, but the advantage is, is you can store it for a long period of time, whereas bleach will deteriorate over time. As long as you keep it dry, it won't. You can take a specific amount of pool shock, mix it with water, and now you got a solution that can serve as a water purifier. Whereas bleach will break down when sitting for extended periods of time. As long as you keep pool shock dry, 
they won't. So for mini preppers, this is a very popular option to have in storage. If you Google how to disinfect water using calcium hypochlorite, you'll find a lot of information online about mixing it with water and how to get a purifying solution. I'll also include a link in the description below if you'd like to purchase it online. I hope this video gives you a high level overview of the basics of water filtration and water purification. I once had the misfortune of contracting Giardia and it will lay flat out. As preppers, the last thing we need when things are crumbling down around us is to be too sick to function. Please provide your thoughts, ideas, and feedback in the comments section below. As always, be safe out there.